This topic discusses how to calculate a column's axial load carrying capacity. The load carrying capacity of a column in a structure will help us to find out if the given size of a column grade of concrete and the quantity of steel provided would satisfy the load carrying capacity of the column. In simple words, the lower carrying capacity of a column shall always be greater than the actual load carried by the column. The axial load carrying capacity of the column formula. P U equals 0.4 F C K times A C plus 0.67 F Y times A S C as per I S code 456 2000 where P U equals ultimate axial load carrying capacity of the column F C K equals characteristics of the comprehensive strength of concrete A C equals area of concrete in the column A S C equals area of steel in the column Determine the axial load carrying capacity of a rectangular column 300 mm by 400 mm in size, that is carrying an ultimate axial load of 1100 kN, reinforced with six numbers of 20 mm diameter steel bars. The concrete grade is M20 and the steel grade is F E415. Given data, size of rectangular column equals 300 millimeters by 400 millimeters. F, C, K equals characteristics of comprehensive strength of concrete equals 20 newton per square millimeter. F, Y equals yield strength or ultimate tensile strength of steel equals 415 newton per square millimeter. Number of steel bars equals 6. Diameter of steel bar equals 20 millimeters. First, we have to calculate the gross cross-sectional area of the column. A, G equals 300 times 400 equals 120,000 square millimeters. Second, we have to calculate the area of steel in the column. Area of bar equals number of bars times area of one bar. Area of bar equals 6 times pi per 4 times diameter squared. A, S, C equals 6 times 3.14 per 4 times 20 times 20. A, S, C equals 1884 square millimeters. Now we calculate the area of concrete in the column. We know that the gross cross-sectional area of the column is equal to the area of concrete in the column and the area of steel in the column. A, G equals A, C plus A, S, C. A, C equals A, G minus A, S, C. Putting the value of the gross area of the column and the steel area subtracting both, we get concrete in the column. A, C equals 120,000 minus 1884. A, C equals 118,116 square millimeters. Putting all the values in the formula for the axial load carrying capacity of the column. P, U equals 0.4 F, C, K times A, C plus 0, 67 F, Y times A, S, C. P, U equals 0.4 times 20 times 118116 plus 0 0.67 times 415 times 1884 equals 1,468,774 Newton. Converting into kilo Newton, we have to divide by 1,000. P, U equals 1,468,774. 68,774 divided by 1,000 equals 1,468.774 kilonewton.